Hello, I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department. And we want to create a, a regular update for you and the community on coronavirus, what's happening around the world, and answer some of the questions that you have. Uh, this is going to be a, a video that, uh, or a series of videos that we're going to produce and put here on, on social media with some regularity, probably a couple times a week for a while, uh, recognizing that the situation is fluid around the, uh, the, the globe. And there's a lot of confusing and, uh, and sometimes conflicting information happening uh, in regards to coronavirus. Last night in his press conference, the president said that the United States has the world's very best public health surveillance system. And I may be a little bit biased, but I agree with him. I think we have a tremendous public health system at the, the federal, state, and local level. I think we do a great job of uh, screening people when we have an outbreak like we've had with coronavirus in China for some time now. The challenge to our system really happens when the nations that are affected by that sort of outbreak expand from one or two or three into many. And that's what we're seeing in the past several weeks where it's not just China now, but there's a number of other countries around the world that are seeing sustained transmission of the coronavirus. Now, I certainly don't think this is a time to panic. I think there's lots of reasons to believe that this is not going to be a severe outbreak here in the United States. Uh, however, I do think it's responsible for us to think about the things that we can do. Uh, and there's certainly a lot of things that we can do to put uh, this risk along with the risk of influenza and so many other transmissible diseases uh, under control. Uh, and so I want to talk about a few of those things here for a moment. Number one, and most importantly, if you're sick, you need to stay home. Uh, and again, this is not just for coronavirus. In fact, more importantly, this is for influenza. Uh, not to mention so many other easily communicable diseases. If you have an uncontrolled cough, uncontrolled sneezing, if you have a fever, if you have uh, vomiting or diarrhea, you need to stay home until those symptoms are, are, are gone. Uh, doing that is probably the most important thing that we can do to protect our neighbors, our coworkers, our classmates from illness. Uh, number two, wash your hands. Wash your hands frequently. And I know in public health, uh, we say these same things with great regularity. Washing your hands is one of the most important things that you can do uh, on a regular basis. Uh, number three, uh, if you are coughing or sneezing, you need to control that cough and that sneeze. Uh, these sorts of respiratory viruses are really spread through droplets of moisture that are uh, expelled when we cough or sneeze. Control them. Sneeze into your elbow, uh, sneeze into a, a Kleenex or handkerchief, uh, and then wash your hands. Very critically important. Uh, number four, if you are sick and you think you need to see a doctor or go to the emergency department, please call them first. Call your doctor's office, explain to them what the situation is. Uh, if you don't have a doctor, call the urgent care center, call the emergency department. Don't just show up uh, unannounced. Uh, we really need to do what we can to protect our health care workers along with the other people who might be at the doctor's office from whatever it is that you may have. Uh, number five, uh, have an emergency preparedness plan. And again, this is not specifically for coronavirus. This is a good rule to have uh, to, to follow, uh, whether it's a, a flood or a power outage or a, a natural disaster. We certainly have seen lots of reasons in the past dozen years or so uh, why it's a good idea to have an emergency preparedness plan for your family. Think carefully about how you'd get by for a week or two if you had to uh, without uh, going out into public, without going to the grocery store. Have a plan in place. Uh, and number six, and this is also really critically important, uh, get the flu shot. Uh, please stay current on your vaccinations and the flu shot in particular right now. now the flu shot is not going to provide any protection against coronavirus. However, uh, it's incredibly important that we keep the occurrence of flu down as low as possible. This has been a tough year for influenza, and our hospitals are really struggling with a lot of cases of influenza right now. If we do have more illness from things like coronavirus or anything else, that's going to create more stress for our hospitals. We really need to work to keep the burden on our hospitals as low as possible. So please get your flu shot. 
As I mentioned, we're going to be providing these video updates with some regularity. Please comment in the section below if you have questions. We're going to be following up with more videos, answering your questions, and giving you further updates as they develop. And please also go to accesskent.com where you can find out more information about uh, this coronavirus uh, outbreak around the globe. Thank you.